Hey, this is Dan. Welcome back to Real Vape Review, and I have another mechanical mod to review for you guys today, and today is going to be the Stingray, and this is from angelsigs.com, and I will show it up there somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I switched office views now, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be on this side right up here, Angel Sigs. You can definitely go check them out, and if you go to Angel Sigs, one thing cool about it is they actually have a warehouse here in the United States. It's a Chinese vendor, but... They have a warehouse here in the United States. If you click on a USA warehouse, this stuff ships lightning fast. Within three, four days, you will get your stuff from the USA warehouse. And I just noticed on their website, they now have a German warehouse and where they can ship into Germany as well, and it is lightning fast. But yeah, this is going to be the Stingray Mechanical Mod. Now, this thing is just flipping gorgeous. Uh, I've been using it for a couple days. You can see one thing on there right off the bat. It does kind of scar up a little bit quick but it is the gold version of the stingray it, it, it's fantastic it is a beautiful beautiful little mod and i'll break it down and i'll go in and i'll show you some of it but i'm gonna go ahead and have a puff on it right now and i got a clouper tank on there right now and i'll explain that why i, I have a clouper on there as well Great vapor production on it. Um, you know, a lot of that has to do with the tank and the juice and everything else. My fan is on, is is on in here, so you know it kind of stirs it up a little bit. You can still see that vapor production, but but yeah, this little mod uh, it's fantastic. I really do enjoy it. This is one that it would be more of like my display mod. This is something I would like to have on my shelf. It's very pretty. It's very you know it's very very pretty it's just very nice it's very nice looking it's very show worthy something you could put up on display then you take something like my brass chi you you know that thing is more of like your everyday pack around hitter this one could can definitely be your over everyday you know everyday unit but i like it for a display model something really nice you know kind of go over to my nemesis as well this is another one from angel sigs and this is my everyday this is my everyday unit right here. I love this Nemesis mod. It is a clone. These are clones. So you just so you know they are clones, but they are fantastic clones. I did find a couple issues on this Stingray that I will let you know about that I'm not the biggest fan of, but it still does work and it works just fine. But they're just kind of little annoyances more than issues. So anyway, let's go ahead and switch views. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to show you what I got here. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful looking mod. So let's go ahead and transition. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this Stingray mod. Now, one thing you can see, I've been using for a few days. When I first got this, it was flawless. It was like perfect, perfect, perfect. I am very careful with my units, but you can still see it does take a little bit of scratching. It doesn't take much to kind of scar these up just a little bit. But all in all, it's an absolutely beautiful mod. And you can see right here, it has laser etching on there. It says Stingray, or yeah, right there, Stingray. And it is just absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice little design on the bottom of it there. Really, really nice. On the back side here, it has a serial number. And this one is 5039. Now I'll change the camera view and it won't focus anymore. So, But yes, overall, this is a fantastic little mechanical mod. It is very simple. It is very basic. One thing I want to show you really quick here is it does have a very short throw. You know, when you push that button, it has a very very short uh span on it and also just for the 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 locking ring spins super easy super free it does take a bit to get down there it is a long it's, it's got a long ways to go but that of course will lock it into place and it won't be able to go anywhere let's go ahead and t head and pull this bottom cap off and i'll let you see the bottom cap and also the firing button and see how that all looks together i about lost my little beauty ring let's go ahead and, or not beauty ring, my little rock locking ring Go ahead and set that to the side for just a second. Now, on the bottom of the actual uh, firing button, it has the little gears and kind of an S, and really wish it would just focus a little bit better. Everything with this shiny has a hard time, you know, figuring out the focus point and where it wants to focus. Let me move this back a little so it's not picking up all the glare. Well, I don't want to do it. Let me try zooming in. I'm going to get this this piece out of the way there we go now you can see the bottom pin has some gears on there and then the s for the stingray actually looks really really nice now this is a but uh, a mechan uh, mechanic mechanic uh, magnetic button on the inside so you take this screw and you'd screw it out these are silver plated connections 
One thing I have found now, this has got a big diameter on this silver plated connection on this end. So on the battery you use, you have to be careful that you don't have a battery. Let me pull out this one just for example. This battery here, you see how it's got this overlap of the plastic that kind of comes over on it? It is actually bigger. Well, this one's actually just like almost the same diameter the center pin is on this one. So the battery I'm actually using is going to be an EFEST battery, and it has a nice big diameter. So then that way these actually make a nice connection on the bottom, and then it's got to be you know, where I can make a connection on the top. So that's one thing that kind of got me on this one is just the connecting. You know, this platform is so big that when it touches the bottom of your battery, if you have any overlap of plastic, it won't connect. So that is one little issue. And like I said, the stroke on this thing is very, very short. It has got a short, 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 tiny little stroke on it. It doesn't take much to fire it. Now, I am not going to go ahead and take this apart. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to pull it apart. Yes, I do know how, but with the magnets in there, the way they're set up, and with the little locking pin that's on the inside, I don't want to lose any of that. I have big, stupid fingers, so if I pull it apart, I'm probably going to lose a little bit, and it's going to make the video 10 times as long. We don't need that, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the rest of the unit here. Like I said, it does have this little uh, locking, uh, the locking device, which is really, really nice. It is free rolling, just fingertips, and it will just roll right around. Super, super fantastic. I like it when it's easy to use like that. I do have another mod that this little locking pin or locking sleeve is kind of a pain in the butt to get out of there. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave the tank on there for right now. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And I'm going to break this down. I'm going to show you how to get it into 18350 mode. Now, you can take this part and put it up on this end and change it out however you want to. I like having the actual stingray part on the bottom side of the of the unit versus on the top but these parts are interchangeable so I'm going to go ahead and screw these apart comes with two different tubes so you can go with 18 uh, 350 mode 18 500 mode using that or see yes this is going to be 18 350 mode with just the stingray and it's so hard to do all this on camera it really is like I said especially with my big stupid fingers I just have big dumb hands but anyway, basically put that into place there, screw this in. Let me zoom out just a little bit, give you a little clearer view. But anyway, and you screw the bottom pin on, the firing pin on the bottom, I mean, have a nice little short mechanical mod. That's 18350 mode, and you got the nice Stingray, you know, logo on there. Then is what you can do pretty much at this point is just unscrew this section, unscrew your cap on there, your firing pin, and you can put on actually this middle connector. And I want to show you one thing when I screw this into place. Watch this seam and watch how it almost disappears just almost completely. Beautiful. Very nice. Very sleek. They did a really good job machining this. Yeah, that seam just almost just almost disappears completely. Like I said, I've used this a little bit and you know it don't take long to kind of ding it up a little bit. But now I put my, my lid back on or my tap cap back on, my firing button back on. Now I'm in 18500 mode. Back to 18650 mode, I take off the 500 tube, and I put on the 18650 tube. So pretty, pretty simple to switch this back and forth for the different types of batteries that you have. Now, we've already taken a look at the, the bottom firing pin, so I'm going to go ahead and just screw it back into place real quick. And like I say, it's so hard to do this upside down on the camera. Try to keep everything visible for you guys. Go ahead and screw that into place. I'm going to set it to the side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the center pin. And this is the second issue that I found. Now, one thing I'm not a big fan of, it has a center pin in here. It is just a floating center pin. In other words, it kind of comes out. You see that little gap there? And it just goes back in. It just kind of floats floats around in there. And nothing really holds it into place. I like the ones that are adjustable, that you can screw them up and screw them down to match your tank. Now, this clouper tank, the reason I'm using it is it has a long thread base and also a, an extra long uh, 510 connector. The whole thing is extra long. So when I screw it into place on this cap, it actually makes contact with a pin and then makes contact. This actually comes down just a touch to make contact with the battery. If I use a ProTake on there, for some reason, I'm not able to get it to fire. So this top pin right here is a little bit kind of wonky in my opinion. I like having the adjustable one since I've had the Nemesis and having an adjustable one on there. I, I fell in love with it and I don't want to go back to anything else. So this little extra pin here, it just, you know, like I said, it just kind of, just kind of 
falls out. No, no, it doesn't fall out. It just, it's just loose and it's just a center firing pin that just is loose. So taking a look at the very top of the cap, very decorative. It's got a nice little design to it. It's got little air holes in each one of these little corners here. So like I said, it looks really good. It's brass on uh, silver or probably not silver, just a plated silver or whatever, a chrome. Very nice look for sure all the way around. Let's go ahead and screw the clapper back into place here. And then like you see this, see this bottom pin? It goes in almost all the way and it sticks out just a little bit so it makes contact with the battery. If I use a Pro Tank, that little pin doesn't come out quite far enough to make contact, which is a major pet peeve of mine. So let's go ahead and put this back together. I'll go ahead and put my battery back in there. Screw this back together. Now the way to adjust this is when you put your battery in, depending, depending on how long your battery is, you just unscrew the bottom a little ways and then you screw the top down until it's nice and flush and then you screw your bottom back up to meet it. And right there at that point it meets it and we have fire, just like that. And remember this is a very, very short, very short press and it actually fires. So all in all, I love this Stingray. It is an actual beautiful, beautiful mod. Would I use it every day? Probably not. Just because if you take a look at it, you can see all the, the scuff marks and stuff on it. And I have been trying to be really, really careful. And it doesn't take much. The laser etching is actually nice and deep. It actually has nice and deep grooving in there. And I'm actually going to see if I can get in and zoom in close and it'll keep it focused. And you can actually see how well the laser etching is and it is nice and deep all the way through it and it looks really good and like i say some random fake serial number on the back because it is a clone 5039 but yeah that, i'm really impressed with that laser etching it looks really really nice and when i first got this and pulled it out of the box it looked even better of course but like i say since then you know just even just using it a little bit here and there it has got some little mars and little scars on it but you know what the scars and stuff does not matter with functionality so that, in a nutshell, is the Stingray Mechanical Mod. Very similar to most other mechanical mods. So my only real issues with this thing is, is the silver-plated connector, which is a great connector, and a magnetic bottom firing button, great. That silver-plated connector on the bottom is so big a diameter that it won't work with most of my other batteries. I have, And like, say, you take any of my batteries, it has that little extra piece of plastic. You see the black around it, extra little piece of plastic won't make contact with it so i have to have one that has a little bit more exposed metal on the end of your battery to make contact not a big deal if you have a few extra batteries but if you only have batteries you want to take a look at them and if they have that extra little shoulder just like this one does the plastic that kind of comes over the bottom of it there then you may want to you know avoid this or at least you know get a different type of firing button i know on the nemesis it's a small a small surface area it makes contact with almost every battery i have which is great the other little thing that I'm not real fond of is just a center pin on the top of this. It's not the greatest because it's just kind of a floating pin and you have to have something with longer 510 threads. You take a standard Pro Tank, let me pull one off real quick. A standard Pro Tank with the 510 threads on here are fairly short. I mean, there's not a lot of room for, you know, for any error or any anything extra in there and it will not the Pro Tanks will not work on this, at least on this unit. Now, I may just have kind of a wonky unit, but you know what? It'll probably, you know, just judging on it, probably be the same for most people. So you just want to be aware of that, that you need something with a little longer stroke. Or I do know that you can go to different websites all over the web, um, go into the different forums, check it out, and you can actually buy replacement pins for the for these Stingrays. And I think the original Stingray had the same issue with the pin, that the pin was just not long enough, and you want to have an adjustable pin in there. The Nemesis has an adjustable pin, which makes it a phenomenal unit. This is a very pretty unit. Very nice unit to look at. Very nice to go on my display shelf. It looks great, but let's go ahead and have a couple puffs. This is a clopper tank, so i got to turn it upside down to wet the wicks and everything, but let's go ahead and give it a puff. Fantastic. I do love this mod. I don't want you to get me wrong with my little complaints or whatever on some things. doesn't mean it's not a great, fantastic unit. I love it. It is it is freaking great. It's beautiful. It looks great. You know, I mean, in pictures, it looks great. In video, it looks great. It's shiny. It's reflective. It's gold. Man, who don't love gold? So little things just make it, you know, I made it work. But, you know, it's not my favorite mod. You know, my Nemesis is my favorite mechanical mod. And, you know, I don't even have a favorite, you know, 
big mod. Well, I do. That's my VTR. But that's beside the point. Anyway, check out angelsigs.com. They have a lot of good stuff. If you're here in the United States, check out their USA warehouse. It will ship lightning fast. Within probably four days, you'll have it. That's when I got mine. And I can't wait to work with Angel Sigs again. They have a lot of good products on there. They have some variable voltage, variable wattage units. They also have the K-Funds. They're all, like I said, most all clones. K-Funds, Aquas, like I said, Stingrays, Nemesis. I know they have the Maraxis on there. They have um the turtle ship like I said, they have a ton of awesome units cheap can't beat that cheap and awesome like i said even though they're all clones still fantastic so all right check out angel sigs I'll, I'll show it up there i'll link it down below and yeah definitely check out my line of e-juices i'll show it up here realejuice.com and i just added some more flavors so definitely go over and check that out gummy bear is freaking awesome caramel coffee awesome so anyway and the other one is american tobacco not necessarily my flavor but it is a good it is a good tobacco flavor and i think you'll enjoy it if you like tobacco flavors so anyway that's it for today guys like i said this little kit comes with the stingray actual body here and the little tube uh, extra tube whatever so you can put it in 18350 18500 and 18650 mode for most uses i think most people use it in 18650 mode so this little piece here a lot of people if they have a bunch of different mods they have a bunch of these sitting around like me i have a bunch of those little pieces sitting around so all right guys the stingray from angelsigs.com fantastic little unit it's going to be one of my display units it's not probably probably not going to be one of my vaping units but i have a lot of stuff to vape on so i, I kind of have that luxury if you have one of these just be aware of those little functions i told you about center pin you know the extra big plate on the bottom the silver plated uh, connector on the bottom it's a little bit big in diameter so you got to watch your batteries like i said the efest batteries that are you know that i have here that i got from uh, ecsmokes.com these actually work really, really well. They got a nice uh, uh, surface area on the bottom, and the pin is just barely protruding on the top, enough to make a good connection. So they are actually perfect for these Stingray mods. So all in all, I love it. I give the whole entire mod a 8.5 out of 10. I love it. Compare this side by side to my Nemesis. It is a 10 out of 10 in every way, shape, and form. It has more functionality. It seems to function better. I like it better. This one is a beautiful piece. I think this one looks better, but functionality, I got to go with the Nemesis, but this Stingray, like I said, it's a beautiful piece. It really is. All right, guys, we're going to catch you guys on the next review. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. We'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Stay charged and vape on.